Is that really my face today? Oh dear. I actually have bags for days. Hey guys, welcome back to another video of mine. This weather. Can we just first talk about this sunshine? How absolutely incredible it is. Oh, I am one of those. I literally, I just hibernate for winter and then summer comes back around and I'm living my best life. Honestly, I wake up earlier. I actually look after my diet. I'm not snacking on chocolate every five seconds. I'm loving this weather. I mean, I can't wait to get outside. You're gonna have to ignore the mess. I swear, where we're basically, where we're trying to get our stuff together, like we're getting our ducks in a row and we're trying to pack up two houses, not pack up, but we're trying to prepare for moving out in November. I swear, I've just got stuff everywhere and I'm a little bit embarrassed to show you. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna turn this way a little bit. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, I thought we could do a let's get ready together video because we are going out today. Um, we've just been down the market. I actually found such a lovely present for my sister. So I will show you that on my next video. So I've got something so special planned and I want to take you guys with me because it's going to be so much fun, especially if the weather stays like this. So we're going to a barbecue today and it's my first proper outing. So, I mean, I love, don't get me wrong. I love being at home. I'm not gonna lie. This lockdown, I've been preparing for this lockdown my whole life and my time to shine, you know? Being such a, a home bird, I, I literally, <laughs> I've enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's made me a bit more anxious when I do go out and it makes me feel like, I feel like I've lost a lot of social skills maybe. I mean, I'm talking to a camera right now. There you go, I'm, I've lost social skills, you know? When I'm talking to actual people in real life or like groups of people, or I just feel a little bit more anxious than I ever did. A bit bizarre at the minute. But yeah, I'm loving life in my bed. It's my friend's birthday. I'm gonna do my hair, look at it. It's actually a bird's nest. The curls are out. In my last video, last couple of videos, my hair has been straight, but I don't normally have it straight. So don't get used to it. It's gonna be an actual bird's nest. So you're just gonna have to put up with it, I'm afraid. But I will show you how I style my hair. Also, I'm gonna do some makeup. Gotta look a little bit presentable, right? going out to see actual humans for the first time in what feels like forever and I'll show you my outfit too I got a really cute little outfit so cheers Whew. my bad so oh let me shut that bloody hell so first step of not looking like an actual homeless person I'm gonna do my skincare I don't know what this is I've got a rash come up it looks really bad on the camera but in the actual mirror it's not as red you know what it is I feel like Dean's beard is so like and it's all on my skin I had a massive rash all the way down here the other day which is really unfortunate because I can't get away with not wearing makeup today. I mean, I could go for the whole big sunglasses, like, kind of vibe. But I don't think I'll pull it off. Because the minute, I swear, the minute I put those sunglasses on, the sun's just going to go, ha, no, mug me off. So I'm going to have to wear makeup. I'm going to have to. I probably won't use my toner today. Glow toner. I went on to Beauty Pie and I spent, I spent about 60 quid. I topped up everything that I said was running out. So I'm gonna use my pretty much the same products what I always use. So I I am in love with this. But it's Body Shop, the chamomile range. 
So I've been using this little baby. It's so, so, so good. Like if, you, if you're one of those, you wear so much makeup and you struggle to take it off at the end of the night or, or you hate taking it off at the end of the night and you use that bloody useless micellar water, this is your girl. This is what you need. It's, I'll show you close up. Oh my goodness. So it basically is an oil. It's a silky cleansing oil and it's got calming chamomile extracts. It'll probably do wonders for this little rash thing. But I can't even remember how much it is. It's such a beaten up old bottle. Believe me when I say this has lasted me over a year. It probably needs replacing just because of how old it is. It is so, so good. But it's good to like get it right on your eyelashes as well because it just, honestly, it just, it just melts. Like any, any makeup, it just melts it off. It's so good. I absolutely love it. And I also use the Aloe uh, Body Shop. It's, oh, it's so, so good as well. It's like a foaming wash, but it's the Calming Foaming Wash. It's got no fragrance, colorants, preservatives. It's for sensitive skin. So once again, rash is gonna be on holiday right now. Can't recommend it enough. This is my second bottle. And again, I think I started using this one. It's down to about here. But this has been used twice a day, every single day. Since probably about before Christmas. So it's lasted me well over four months and it's not even halfway through yet so this is such a good buy i would 100 percent recommend especially if you've got sensitive skin or you don't like the gel where well, this is mousse it's or foam oh, it's beautiful so this is the oil i just literally do a couple of pumps onto dry skin dry dirty skin you don't need to like wash it beforehand and then i just massage it on Boy, you know you are. You know you're a good boy. <laughs> okay, so I literally just get my wet. Uh, this is a microfiber cloth. I think I got it from Amazon. I want to say, but I got like three in a pack, and they just melt the makeup off. They just really, they really complement the um, the oil. Such a thick fabric. It really takes it off really gently and really nicely but you don't have to like scrub, you know? Going in with the foam cleanser. Oh my God, it looks like I'm about to have a shave, doesn't it? It's like a shaving foam. toner just because it's glycolic and with this rash i don't want to aggravate it anymore so i'm just going to put some aloe i don't know if you can even see that the body shop soothing day cream because it's for sensitive skin mine feels particularly sensitive this stupid rash <laughs> Obviously, I'm gonna say it in every skincare video, sun cream. Sun cream is so bloody important, I cannot stress it enough. And I'm gonna go in with my Hawaiian Tropic Airsoft SPF. Just a little bit extra around the eyes. Vitamin E hydrating mist. It works so well on top of your skincare, honestly. But it's also a couple of quid from Superdrug. Skincare is done and I'm gonna do my makeup. So I don't ever claim to be a professional with makeup. 
never have been never gonna be but there's one thing i'm certain of crusty lips no no i get i use the lush this is a candy cane one so you kind of like wet your lips and it's like a sugar paste and you just kind of it looks so strange in the camera you just literally pile it on do that there with the lush ones you can actually just lick them off i don't like doing that i feel like why do i want to just swallow all of my dead skin so i just get like a damp cloth and just do that so not only do i feel like using a scrub before makeup it just plumps your lips up i feel like it just brings some blood to the surface makes them a little bit more puffier but they're so soft now so when i go to put my lipstick on lip gloss whatever i'm doing with my lips for the day it just goes on so smooth i love it so i'm just using a little uh lip balm just so they can get themselves all moisturized so i'm just gonna time lapse my makeup because I'm a little bit like I don't want the judgment <laughs> I am not really too much of a perfectionist and I don't like wearing a lot of makeup as well especially this uh a little uh rash over here See in a bit <laughs> clean again girls how are you putting on your makeup are you like with your foundation do you use a brush do you use a beauty blender or your fingers with my fingers at the minute because it just feels nicer to go on so I don't know maybe it's a summer thing I don't know I feel like it just goes on nicer, it's more silkier. Yeah, so don't judge how I contour. I've never in my life been able to contour. Contour? Oh, someone go hush. No, I've never been able to do like proper contour or anything. So I use this massive brush and just kind of like work it in. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know if you can see this on camera. These are my baby hairs. I'm gonna sort them right out. Mm. Yeah, comment below how you how you put your foundation on because I feel like there's so many different ways to do it. I don't know, I'm getting my eyebrows laminated on Monday. Yeah, my brows aren't gonna be looking this uh hey. forever. <laughs> Concealer by Maybelline. actually gonna have to ignore the quality of my eyebrows like I say <laughs> I'm getting my eyebrows done on Monday thank the Lord so I will I'm gonna have to bear with it for now so I've started using the um, kiss uh, Falscara. I quite like it. So rather than using strip lashes, because I'm useless at strip lashes, so I can't do them. I've never been able to do them. I've tried and tried and tried. So I see this in Superdrug. So you have to put the bond on and then you get little like individual sort of cluster lashes like this. You can't really see. So you get like a pack of those so you just basically put the bond on on your eyelash and then you just sort of add it on underneath 
and it sticks to the bond. I must admit, I've not had any problems with it. So you only have to put like such a small amount of bond and then you just put them on. It's so easy. But yeah, you just add them on and then you press them onto your eyelashes with the bond. Like you'd use tweezers, you can use your fingers. You basically just wanna press them onto the bond and then you use the other side of the mascara and this one's white, it's a seal, so it seals it. I think that's the most important step actually, is the sealant. It looks like there's more clusters here, but I don't know why, because it doesn't look like that in real life. It looks very even in real life, I promise you. So yeah. So you just basically like play around with them, put them where you want them, I swear, it doesn't even feel like you're wearing lashes. Then literally take them off. You have this special like remover they give you and it gets rid of any glue, which I have all over the top of my bloody lashes now. It just comes straight off. Okay. So I think that's probably as good as I'm gonna get these. They look so wonky on here. I don't know if it's because I'm just looking up, I don't know. But in real life, they're fine. So yeah, my makeup routine really is so, so simple. Um, I'm not really one to go all out, especially just for a barbecue. It's a daytime barbecue. It's gonna be on all freaking day. So I really don't like to have loads and loads and loads and loads on. I'll put a little bit of blusher, a little bit of bronzer. It's really nothing spectacular. I'm useless and I know it and I'm proud of it. That's fine. It's fine by me. So I'm going to put you back. There you go, my loves. I kind of don't know what to do with my lips. Hmm. Where it's a barbecue, I don't think I want to go all out. I don't want to go for like a super bright red. Not when you're going to be eating food, burgers, drinks i mean i don't drink i don't drink alcohol at all i just think it's bad for you you know when you wake up the next day and you just you're not yourself and i don't like that feeling i don't like the feeling of being hung over i kind of just gave up drinking completely i feel like it's great at the time when you're drinking although i don't really like the feeling of of feeling drunk more for me it's like the next day when you feel like crap and your head's just just all over the place and you just get really anxious and i just absolutely hate what alcohol does to you so i don't drink i forgot what my point was so i'm going to be basically eating and all sorts so i don't want any like bright bold color really on my lips today so i might just go for a soft pink i love a soft pink it goes i just feel like it just goes with the whole tones that i, that I wear so yeah i think i'll go for pink Anyway, oh, it's that time of day. Let's do my hair. So the first thing I do when I when I style my hair because it is so curly and it feels like really dry at the moment. It needs a brush and everything. Look how matted it is. Oof. The first thing I do is I need to spray some water on it, get some moisture back in it so I can brush it through and put some more styling products in. I'm gonna go ahead with my water bottle, just spray it with water, brush it through, and yeah, that'll be my hair. <laughs> just remembered that I haven't set the makeup. There we go, all set. On with the brushing, the tedious, tedious brushing. Ugh. Is me 
all brushed out now. So I'm just going to take, this is like a cotton towel, it feels like a t-shirt. Um, it's the best thing for hair because it doesn't make it like get all split ends and stuff. Where I'm a curly girl, curly girl life, curly girl problems. I have to um, be very careful with my hair, what I do. Like I can brush my hair wet, so they don't normally recommend that you do that. Um, if you've got really thin, fine, straight kind of hair, they say you shouldn't actually brush it when it's wet because your hair is at its weakest when it's wet. However, with my hair, it's the only way to brush the fucker. So I'm gonna get this really, really wet now. I'm just going to brush some water through it. Um, I didn't want to bore you with me spraying and brushing it out before because it is so boring to do, let alone to bloody watch. So as you can probably have seen from the, the video title, probably the reason why you've clicked on this little video today, how I grew my hair 10 inches in under 18 months. So when I first started with my hair journey, I was so fed up. I had micro loop extensions. Uh, my hair was so short. It was so damaged. I, I couldn't stop straightening it. I had a real problem with my hair being curly. Ever since I was a kid, I've had like really super curly like hair and I get it from my dad. My dad had an afro growing up. He's got, quite, he's got quite dark skin and curly hair and we do take after him. Although sometimes I wish I wasn't so pale like my mum, but you get what you're given, make the most of it. I was never able to style it. I didn't know what I was doing with it. So like every other curly girl out there, I just straightened it. I straightened the hell out of it. Although that kind of look was in, it's not very kind to your hair. I think I need to go bring the bird in. He's, we have a parrot. Oh my God, he's out in the garden right now because it's so sunny and he loves being outside. But he is squawking for his life right now. I don't know what is, what is going on out there. But I think he's probably having an argument with his toy again. He hits it and it swings and it hits him back and it just sets him off. It just, he loses his mind over this toy. I have only recently learned that curly hair is beautiful. It can be beautiful. It can it can be smart. It can be a lovely hairstyle. I mean, people pay hundreds to get their hair permed. I decided about, I think it was just under 18 months ago that I wanted to embrace it. So in doing so, I treated my hair with such respect in return, it has it has grown. When I say it has grown, literally my hair, before I started, it was down here. When it was straight, bear in mind, it comes here. So it was kind of like a long bob, but that was purely because of all the damage that was on it. So it was down to here, but the ends were, they were just frazzled. They were, they were bleh, just disgusting. Gonna have to bring that bird in. Oh, I had to bring the bird in. I don't know why he does it. Whack this toy with his beak and then it swings forward in the in like his, his little cage and it swings back at him, smacks him and then it's everyone else's problem. So now my hair is wet enough. It's sort of like, I don't know if you can hear this, that kind of wetness when i started actually looking after my hair using the right products it just grew i couldn't believe the rate that it actually grew at i'm addressing the curly girl nation here shea moisture it's the curl enhancing smoothie by shea moisture so this is a leave-in conditioner that i use and it has protein in it as well so it just changes the way that your curls behave and where i'm only doing like um I'm only doing a refresh today, so I'm not, I haven't washed my hair today because I, I did it the other day, um, not yesterday, the day before. So I'm just going to run just a little bit through there 
just so my, my curls are a bit more hydrated because they were quite dry this morning. So I would have washed it and everything in the shower, but I don't like to wash my hair more than once every sort of like 10 days. It sounds really bad, but that's part of growing your hair out. If you have quite dry, coarse, thick, curly hair, the less you wash it, the better. However, at the same time, you don't want to leave it too long because you can get a build up of product, oils, dirt, all on your scalp. And sometimes it's good just to do a scalp wash because you don't really want to have a build up because that will hinder the growth of your hair. If you have straight hair or quite fine hair, I would definitely recommend, I would recommend to anybody, maybe speak to your hairdresser or just go into a salon, tell them what type of hair you have. Um, I'm just brushing through this conditioner, by the way. Tell them what kind of hair you have and ask them what would be best because you want to make sure that there's no sulfates whatsoever in your shampoo. Your everyday or your every week kind of shampoo should be very, very, very natural. It shouldn't have any like chemicals, sulfates, things like that. You shouldn't have any of that in it. So I go for this range. So it's called Maui. This brand is so, so, so good. It's really, really, really natural. All the ingredients you'll find from plants or from natural origins, there's no sulfates. It says it on the actual bottle. There's no, no minerals, no silicones, no sulfates, nothing, no synthetic dyes, anything like that. This one is the vanilla bean scent. It just smells incredible. Yeah, if you have quite thin hair, I would recommend using a natural shampoo and conditioner and then maybe getting like a mask and do a mask once a week. But the most important thing is definitely to throw out the curlers, straighteners, anything that gets to a very high heat, just lob it, throw it in the bin, throw away any temptation to put heat on your hair. If you leave it for a year, I can guarantee you will get the same kind of growth that I have. And where I have curly hair, the shrinkage, girls, the shrinkage is real. It's just my hair could be this long, straight, you can't even see. My hair could be this long, but when it's dry, you'll see it comes up to here. Like, it's ridiculous. You can imagine, when I first started out and my hair was down to here when it was straight, it just it looked awful i mean my curls weren't as bouncy as they are now it was still very 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 short get a mask chuck it in plaits do you like french plaits learn just watch videos on how to do it and i promise you you will within the year you'll have similar results to me just by showing your hair respect or the respect it deserves i am just scrunching my hair this is with the Aveda. So this is the Aveda Confixer. This is a liquid gel and it's for medium hold. So it will hold your hair in the curls that you've got. So I'm gonna flip my hair over. I'm gonna carry on scrunching. So we're done. And what I do now, so with this towel, I will literally just put my hair over and just tie it up like in a little turban just to kind of soak up the water where it's not like a proper towel it won't make my hair go as frizzy so i'm just gonna flip my hair over on the bed tie this up and i'll be right back oh my goodness i look so random i look proper random my lashes still don't look right on this camera so I'm just going to leave this for as long as I can be bothered to, basically. Um, I'm going to get my diffuser on it, um, but I only blast out cold air on it because I feel like it lessens the frizz, less heat damage. It's win-win. So I'm going to show you my outfit for today. I'm so excited. So I'm just going to go, ugh, that is not a good look. My mirror 
it's filthy. I'm not even going to show you. I'm embarrassed. Nope. And you guys ignore my lights. I painted this wall literally the other week and I've asked so many times for this to be put back. I've got a chrome one to go there. I mean, we're moving out in bloody November, but I still want it looking nice, you know? So, I will have a chrome one put there soon. You're just gonna have to put up with it like I do. I put up with a lot in this house. Do you know what? One thing I can't wait for in November is having my own walk-in wardrobe. Ooh. I got this outfit white is not gonna go well with anything i'm doing today it actually needs an iron as well but i got this really cute white dress off of boohoo i think i paid about 12 pounds for it they have a massive sale on at the minute but it's like that poplin kind of fabric it's got lovely big balloon sleeves and it's got all these like layers on it i absolutely i saw it online and i fell in love with it i thought oh my goodness like summertime just picture it i look so weird with this on my head oh my goodness <laughs> um yeah summertime white dress some like brown black sandals denim jacket hair all curly running down my back off into the distance little cute bag which i bought from primark actually i went to primark for the first time since the lockdown lifted it was absolutely dead when we went in there and oh my goodness the stuff was it was so good yeah i'll show you the whole outfit i probably won't do it until my hair's done though yeah yeah there's probably the whole uh hair up in the the cotton towel is probably not my best look be right back oh my goodness so my camera is about to proper die <sighs> so I'm going to try my hair with my diffuser and I'll show you how I put my extensions in and I'll show you my outfit also. So I'll see you in a minute. That's my hair dry actually. It's still very, very wet, but it's as dry as it's going to be. I just wanted to show you this. This, this is what looking after your hair for nearly a year, stopping the straightening, that's what it can do. These were baby hairs, like these were like little sticking out-y things. They were like about that long, literally they were ridiculous. But I'm so happy with how my hair has come along. It's such a good method to follow. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Oh, I don't like it on that side. Maybe that side. It's just this little bit of hair. Grr. Okay, anyway. Anyway. So what I actually used to grow my hair, uh, more of like a, a growth serum. This is the Righteous Roots. It's the, it's a growth oil. And if you have quite oily hair anyway, I probably wouldn't use this too much. I probably use this as a treatment, maybe once a week on top of your hair mask. Um, do a hair mask and an oil treatment within one week. So you have two nights of treatments within the week and just leave it in plaits. Honestly, don't touch your hair. Like this is it here. So it's so good and it smells, it smells like peppermint. But I literally just use literally one, two, three, maybe four drops, like the tiniest little bit. And I rub it onto my fingers and then I just do a nice little scalp massage. It basically gets the blood flowing to the scalp. And it makes your hair just grow. Honestly, I never, ever, ever could get past that point. You know when your hair, you say, oh, it gets to a certain point and then it stops growing. It doesn't. It, it keeps on growing with this oil. It's incredible. So it's Righteous Roots. It's bloody good. Write it down. And then I just kind of take it through the lengths of my hair. Just to try and frizz up the curls a little bit. Someone's at the door. I have puzzles. Oh, has anyone else just got used to not going to the shops anymore and just ordering everything online? Just because. <laughs> yeah, so with the hair, back to hair, 
I ordered some extensions off of this absolutely hats off that pardon the pun I ordered a um, set of extensions for curly hair for my type of curls as well not just you know those loose wave curls that they just drop out after a while um, I ordered these they were about a hundred I've got a discount code so I want to say they're about 130 140 pounds it was such a long time ago and they do turn up um, pitch black beautiful oh my goodness I wish I could pull black off but no I, I really can't so I had to dye them myself and I used like um, a lightener it wasn't quite bleach but I think it was pretty close just to lighten it and take some of the like the darkness out of it so I could put like a chocolate brown on it so it matches my hair quite nicely but it has seven pieces and it's by a company called Hay Curls I will link them below because everyone, every curly girl out there has to know who this brand are. They just deserve all the support, all the love they can get because these extensions, like if you're trying to grow your hair out and you're having it curly and you're going out, you don't feel right because at first when I started going curly girl, I felt like my hair was just frizzy. I wasn't getting anything out of it these so you get seven pieces you get two ones you get two twos that look like this and then you get two threes as well god damn i feel like i'm literally living life on the wild side right now because my camera is about to die like you know when you're at school and you walk past the scary teacher like every school has one i think we had a couple but you walk past them and you know your top button is not done up and you're just like literally about to freak out like on the edge but that is the level of anxiety i'm experiencing right now i have ordered more batteries and they are being delivered today but yeah so you get two three so you got one two three clips and then you've got this one four now i don't normally wear the four because my hair has got so thick like look at it it's got so big and so thick enough so i don't actually wear all seven clippings so i what i do is i'll section off my hair i feel like i don't look as much like shrek anymore now my makeup's done i feel a lot better about myself today <laughs> right so that's the bottom layer so i will literally take i'll take my three and clip those in and they're quite curly kinky curls so they're not exactly the same hair type like curl type there's still a three like i probably have three b curls maybe but these are quite a lot tighter where they are so they're so realistic they're natural human hair so they're not synthetic they just really like mold in with your curls and they look so natural i really can't recommend them enough but i will i will link them below if you have curly hair and sometimes you just want it a little bit more fantastic you know if you're going to a wedding or you want those long hair kind of vibes then definitely check them out they can be quite expensive to buy yeah it's quite an investment but it's a good one it just anything that makes you feel good about yourself is it's worth it right i'm not sectioning my hair properly it's because i'm on camera whenever i'm not on camera things would go right that's how life works but i'm sure you get the gist of it so that's my two threes that have gone in at the back of my hair let's take this down i'm about to grab oh figure out where i want my hair i think i want it on this side yeah, I feel like this side's more puffy because I dried it flat for some reason here. When you whick it over, it has a bit more volume to it. So, so I'm going to grab my twos. I've got two twos. I'm just going to grab the side of my hair like this, just over my ear. Quite thin hair around my face. I feel like my hair used to be a lot thinner, but like around my face. 
And then as soon as I started using the Righteous Roots oil, I was doing a scalp massage daily on literally like the tiniest bit of oil, but using it daily on my scalp. The growth is ridiculous for what they have given me with my hair. It's given me a sense of confidence and with that freedom and you just can't put a price on that. I mean, look at that volume already. That is just beautiful. So I'm gonna tuck this behind because I need to have a haircut, but I've left it. I actually trim my own hair, just literally curl by curl, just taking all the bad ends off because I want to get it cut. There's a place in Shoreditch, and it's where Jessica Plummer, you know, who um, plays Chantel in EastEnders, it's where she gets her hair cut and obviously if you know who Jessica Plummer is, obviously she was on um, I'm a Celebrity, her hair is stunning. That Everything about that girl is just stunning. Oh, let's hide that a little bit more. So this is the one that I'm putting in right here. And I'm just putting that in the side of my hair because I feel like where this is the poofy side, I just want a little bit more on this side. So, as you can see from the befores of the video to the afters, so I'm just going to turn around and show you. How bloody gorgeous are they? Gives it such a big bit of oomph. So, if you're a curly girl, I would recommend 100%. Please check them out. It's a lot, like I say, it's a lot of money to invest in hair. But if it means that you're not going to spend time damaging your hair with heat and instead you're going to wear these, it's, it's just worth it. It is a bit of drama though, trying to get it to the colour of my own hair. It wasn't that hard, but I can imagine if you have really blonde hair, you're going to need to lighten it a couple of times. And you can actually, where these are natural human hair, you can wash them and you can dye them as well so it's it's so worth the investment honestly when your hair gets to the length that you want it to then you can start using uh like straighteners again every now and then i have the dysons they're meant to damage your hair half as much as normal straighteners but still the key word being damage i really don't like to straighten my hair at all um, I will every now and then when I get sick of curls for a little while. That is the only way to do it, guys. Is If you want to grow your hair literally 10 inches in about a year, year and a half maybe, that's the only way to do it. You need to take care of your hair. Use the right products. Use silicon sulfate-free products. And try not to wash it every day. I know if you have quite oily hair, it it can get really, really gross. But just plait it just for that extra day, just that extra two days if you can. Just leave it in a plait in a treatment and it will grow your hair. Also, to round things off, treatment oil. Do a scalp massage every single day. Uh, even if you don't use any oil, do a, treat, do a massage, treat yourself. It will grow your hair because it stimulates the hair follicles. So I actually bought one of these. It's like a... Um, gets right in there with the little roller balls i dab a bit of oil on each little nub don't know like each little nub i'll put a bit of oil on and i'll just literally massage my hair with it and it really causes so much growth so i thought i'd pop on and show you my outfit of the day Vegas, when? 
Vegas. Bloody years ago. A couple of years ago. Yeah. Um, I bought the denim jacket as well from America. They got that one from Florida. And for my bag, oh my goodness. Can we talk about my bag, please? It was £10 from Primark. And it comes with this really cute little strap. But you can have like a little strap on it as well. So you can have it over your shoulder. Um, or you can just carry it with a little... It's so bloody cute. I feel like it's just enough to kind of tie together my whole outfit. And I've got my little, my little bow in my hair as well. So I thought my hair just needed a little extra something. Because it's not extra enough, you know. I feel so good. Now that we're like... Now that we're allowed to go out and see people outside, it just feels so good, doesn't it? Yeah, well, it's going back to normal. Yeah. And how cute, by the way, are Dean shorts. Look, we've got like a little like pattern on it. What was that? What's that? You, you just pulled a funny face. Yeah, I think you got these from Super Dry. Where was yeah. it? A couple of years ago, wasn't it? Last year. Well, yeah, some point last year. Yeah, but they're, they're denim and they are beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, so that is us now on the way to the barbecue. So, yeah, I'm probably, I won't take you in with me. But I really hope you have a absolutely lovely Saturday and take care of yourself and I will see you a little bit later on. such a lovely time at the barbecue it was oh wasn't it Dean it was so lovely just to be normal yeah just to be like normal just for a little bit groups of six of course groups of six of course it was really really lovely to catch up with the people so we're just gonna really have a chilled Sunday now dinner at home we've got roast tonight yeah, I think so we have roast tonight and that's pretty much it, isn't it? Pretty much. Well. I think we're going to pop in and see my nan today in the uh, garden, weather permitting. But that's really it. I just wanted to pop on and just end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. And I really, really hope that you have a really lovely week. And that you stay safe. I'll see you in next week's video. It's my sister's birthday. So hey, I'm going to have, stuff. we're doing girly stuff. So um, next week's video is going to be quite a nice little spring video for you. I've got really exciting stuff planned. So I'll see you next week. Bye. Dean just wanted to say goodbye. <laughs>